Late in the evening, Abigail is practicing ballet in an empty theater. Meanwhile, a group of criminals prepares for a heist. The hacker disables the security cameras in Abigail's house, and the sniper positions himself on the roof. When Abigail leaves the theater, her driver takes her home, unaware of a tracker placed under the car. As the car moves, the kidnappers follow. The hacker opens the house doors, allowing three criminals to sneak into Abigail's bedroom and hide. One woman objects to kidnapping a child, but the others insist. Abigail arrives home and goes to bed. The criminals seize the moment to attack. One man tries to hold her down, but Abigail stabs his hand with a pencil. Another man takes over, covering her mouth and capturing her while the woman prevents him from hurting Abigail. She then injects Abigail with a sedative. The rest of the team, waiting outside, warns those inside about an approaching car. While the sniper watches the incoming car, the trio quickly puts Abigail in a bag and sneaks out through a window. They cross the garden and reunite with the sniper as the alarms go off, forcing them to run. The last two criminals pick them up just in time, and they escape. During the ride, they check Abigail's pulse to ensure she's fine and blindfold her. Near a traffic jam, the hacker tells the driver to take a different road, but he hides the van behind a truck instead. They reach an old abandoned mansion outside the city and meet Lambert, who hired them. After handcuffing Abigail to a bed, Lambert reminds them of the rules, no sharing names or backstories, and no personal interactions. They must babysit Abigail for 24 hours, until her rich dad pays $50 million. Lambert collects their phones to avoid tracking and gives each member a codename inspired by the Rat Pack. The team then enjoys the house's drinks. Joey refuses to share her candy with Dean, who tries and fails to guess everyone's backstories. Joey mocks him, and the others bet to see if she can do better. By reading their body language, clothes, and personalities, she guesses all correctly. Frank used to be a detective, Peter is a dim-witted mob enforcer, Sammy, the hacker, comes from money and is doing this for fun, Rickles is a former marine sniper, and Dean is a sociopathic driver. Frank concludes Joey is a recovering addict. Joey checks on Abigail, who complains the blindfold is too tight. Joey covers her face, removes the blindfold, and recuffs her hands in front to ease the pain. Seeing Abigail crying, Joey assures her they won't hurt her and only want money, making a pinky promise. Joey shares she has a son, and Abigail reveals her father doesn't care about her. As Joey leaves, Abigail apologizes for what's going to happen to her. Concerned, Joey tells Frank that Abigail's father might be violent. Frank dismisses it as Abigail trying to make Joey feel guilty, but secretly checks on Abigail. Shocked to see her without the blindfold, he covers his face and points his gun at her until she swears she didn't see him. Frank presses her until she reveals her father is Christoph Lazar, a powerful crime boss. Panicking, Frank announces to the group that he's leaving, explaining that the girl is Lazar's daughter, making her a highly dangerous target. Joy and Rickles also recognize the name Christoph Lazar and share Frank's worry. They argue about what to do and decide to stay, hoping to get the money and use it to escape. They agree to watch the perimeter and keep all doors closed. Later, Joy hears a noise and discovers it's just an open window. While closing it, she sees an old statue of a father and child. She bumps into Rickles, who tries to flirt and fails. They agree to watch each other's backs, distrusting the others. Sammy finds a TV room and is startled by Dean playing a prank. Dean tries to flirt with Sammy, but she kicks him out. Dean then finds Peter sleeping and draws a man's member on his face. Wandering around, he sees a picture of a girl who looks like Abigail. In the basement kitchen, a door opens by itself. Dean enters, is startled by a rat, and suddenly an unseen presence grabs him by the legs. Sammy hears Dean's screams and finds him in the basement, sitting at a table. When she approaches, his head falls off, causing Sammy to scream and vomit. The others arrive in the basement and agree that Sammy couldn't have done this. It reminds them of stories about Lazard's hitman, Valdez. Years ago, three top members of Lazar's gang were captured by the FBI and hidden on the top floor of a hotel. The next morning, their bodies were found decapitated with no organs, despite heavy security. Worried, they check on Abigail, who is still safe. 
Rickles, scared of Valdez, wants to leave. When he opens the front door, they find another barred gate. Peter tries to open it, triggering a security system that seals all the windows, trapping them inside. Joey concludes it's a trap. Rickles checks his weapon, only to find it missing. Joey rushes to Abigail and asks if she's seen anyone besides her and Frank. Abigail swears she hasn't, but reveals that Frank threatened her, claimed he worked for her dad, and that his real name is Valdez. Joey and Rickles share what they know and agree to find a way out. As Joey tries to leave, she hears a noise. She checks on Rickles and discovers he's been severely injured. His dead body falls into her arms, and she rushes downstairs. Furious, Joey aims her gun at Frank, accusing him of being Valdez and killing Rickles. Frank pulls his gun and claims Joey is being manipulated by Abigail. He tells Peter to handle Abigail. Peter goes to kill Abigail, but Joey arrives and disarms him. Sammy and Frank join, and an argument ensues. Meanwhile, Abigail easily removes her handcuffs, reveals she's a vampire, and attacks Peter. Frank shoots her, but she heals instantly. Joey shoots her too, but the bullets have no effect. They run and lock the door. The group realizes Abigail was Valdez all along. All the doors have magnetically sealed locks and thick shutters, which Sammy can't hack. Everyone is tense, and when Peter asks them to slow down, Frank threatens him into silence. Frank and Joey make steaks from pool sticks, while Sammy looks for garlic in the kitchen. Joey doesn't help because she thinks killing Abigail will anger her dad. Once ready, they rush into Abigail's room but find it empty. Hearing music, they go to another room and find Abigail dancing with Dean's body. She pretends to be sweet, but when Sammy attacks, Abigail jumps on her, the garlic does nothing. Frank is pushed away when he tries to help, but Peter manages to pick Abigail up. She easily throws him down, takes the cross from his necklace, and uses it to make him bleed, proving that crosses don't affect her either. Frank tries to stab Abigail from behind, but she quickly disarms him and stabs his leg. Giving up, the trio goes downstairs, where Joey helps treat their wounds. She reminds them the injection worked when they kidnapped Abigail, and they still have a spare. They agree to split up and use their earpieces to inform Joey if they find Abigail, so she can surprise her with the syringe. The group starts searching the house. Sammy takes a dirty corridor and is startled by bats, causing her to fall into a pool filled with rotting bodies. She has to crawl on them to get out. Meanwhile, Abigail surprises Peter, who runs away and locks the door behind him. Abigail breaks through and chases him with ballet moves. As Peter runs, Frank opens a door and accidentally hits him, causing Peter to fall off the rail. Abigail then chases Frank, pushing him down the stairs and sitting on him. Joey tries to inject her, but Abigail knocks the syringe away. Sammy grabs Abigail, who retaliates by biting her arm. Abigail grabs Frank by the leg and starts flying, but Peter tackles her, causing her to drop Frank. Peter holds Abigail down while Joey retrieves the syringe and injects the sedative. Abigail makes threats and insults Joey before passing out. Sammy worries about turning into a vampire from the bite. Later, Abigail wakes up locked in an elevator. Joey tells her they'll let her go if she reveals how to escape. Instead, Abigail confesses she planned everything and that Lambert works for her. She knows all their real names and backstories. Sammy started her career by stealing from her rich parents, Peter was muscle for a crime family and stole from them, and Frank infiltrated a crime family as a detective and ended up enjoying the criminal life. Joey, a former army medic, was fired for becoming addicted to medicine and left her son with his bad father to become an underground doctor for shady people. She accidentally killed a gang member while trying to remove a bullet. Everyone here wronged Lazar or his gang, and Joey says Abigail kills her dad's enemies to earn his love. Abigail didn't kill them immediately because she enjoys playing with her food. She offers to let two of them live if they let her out. Frank suggests killing her, so Abigail changes the offer to saving only the one who frees her. Peter tries to free her, but Joey and Frank warn he's being deceived. Joey shoots Peter when he persists. The group leaves except for Frank, who stays to guard Abigail. Frank tells her he'll let her go if she explains how to escape. 
Abigail says to pull Agatha Christie's book in the library to open a secret door. Frank thanks her but refuses to release her. Abigail then breaks the door, pushes him, and dances toward him. Joey arrives and breaks wooden planks off a window, letting in sunlight. The light burns Abigail's hand, and she runs to hide and heal. Joey and Frank escape. The group gathers in the library, staying in the sunlight from the high window Joey opened earlier. Sammy is relieved she's not turning into a vampire. Frank pulls the book Abigail mentioned, but nothing happens, she lied. Joey tries to break down the wall without success, growing anxious as she's out of candy. She explains to Sammy that she left her son to get clean, hoping this job's money would be a reset to start over with him. This gives Sammy an idea. If they find the power source, she can short the locks. The team splits up to search the house. Suddenly, Abigail plays music and controls Sammy through the bite. Sammy quickly transforms into a vampire, attacks Peter, and bites his neck. Abigail speaks through Sammy as she feeds and kills him, then makes Sammy dance like her. Eventually, Joey and Frank arrive, and Sammy hides her face. Suspicious, they insist, so Sammy reveals her transformation, and they immediately run away. Sammy chases them to the library, where Abigail, using Sammy's voice, explains she hates the room because it's where her father turned her. Joey uses a tray to reflect sunlight, causing Sammy to explode. A secret door opens, and despite thinking it's a trap, Joey and Frank go through it. They find the mansion's control room and Lambert, who is also a vampire. Lambert grabs Joey by the neck and explains that Abigail turned him two years ago, after discovering he helped Frank infiltrate the gang. She threatened his family, and now he lures her father's enemies to her. Lambert has already notified Lazar, who is on his way. Lambert wants to kill both Abigail and Lazar, so he offers to turn Frank if he promises to help. Frank agrees, and Lambert knocks Joey out and bites Frank. When Joey wakes up, she sees Frank painfully transforming into a vampire. Lambert tells Frank to feed on Joey, but Frank stabs Lambert with a stake, causing him to explode. Abigail arrives and tries to attack, but Frank overpowers her and drinks her blood. Joey uses the opportunity to deactivate the security measures and retrieve her phone. However, the exit is locked. While Frank finishes feeding on Abigail, Joey calls her son and leaves a heartful voicemail. Frank finds her and pushes her back into the library, throwing her against the furniture. Joey tries to defend herself, but her punches are ineffective. Frank grabs her by the neck and throws her down, but Abigail catches her in time. Abigail, too weak to defeat Frank alone, begs Joey for help, promising to let her go if they succeed. Frank approaches, Joey, and Abigail team up to fight him. Despite their efforts, Frank is stronger. He knocks down Abigail, stabs Joey in the shoulder with the stake, and pins her to a pillar. He then bites Abigail again, and she raises her pinky, reminding Joey of their promise. After defeating Abigail, Frank takes Joey off the stake and bites her neck before throwing her to the floor. When she wakes up, Frank uses his vampire powers to force her to pick up the stake and go after Abigail. However, Joey is pretending and turns to push Frank, giving Abigail the chance to attack him. Abigail explains that Frank's powers haven't fully developed, so he can't control or transform Joey yet. While Frank is distracted, Joey retrieves the stake and pulls him down. She and Abigail team up to stab him, causing him to explode. Joey worries she might transform, but Abigail assures her it won't happen because Frank is dead. True to her word, Abigail lets Joey go, telling her to find her son. Suddenly, Lazar, Abigail's father, grabs Joey's shoulder. He says he's had many names over the years and wants to kill Joey. However, Abigail defends Joey, saying she saved her life and was there when he wasn't. Lazar thanks Joey by kissing her hand and lets her go. Joey rushes back to the van, finds a lollipop, and eats it while driving away. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.